Nothing, nothing in life determines who you are except for what you define yourself as. Whatever happens to you, look, when a car gets hit, when the car gets in, when a car gets to a, uh, like, let's say you hit your car, you know how there's the green title, or I think it's called the yellow title or something, because it drops the value of it because it got hit and it's fixed, it's no longer brand new. That happened to a, an object. You are not an object. You are a spiritual being who's an infinite with his or her potential and the ability to grow to become, to transform. So no matter what happens cannot define you. Only you define yourself. Who do you become? All right? You know what's the most common mistake people make? In happy when it comes to happiness, I have a video in mind I'm going to shoot in, in uh, Costa Rica tomorrow. Do you know what, comment below if you know, what's the most common mistake people make when it comes to happiness? What do you think it is? So what do you think most common people make when it comes to happiness? Because Melissa said something powerful. She said, I am, I feel happier from within. That's powerful. If you don't know what the most common mistake people make when it comes to happiness, you're probably making that mistake. Material or physical things. That, that is true. You're so right. There are types of people who run their happiness based on material, but versus self and feeling. You're right. But I'm going to make it more specific. They rely on an external factor to feel happy. They literally say that in head. I will not be happy until something happened, whatever that expectation is. Maybe uh, so I, I know someone who told me, uh, somebody I coach uh, for personal training and life coaching. And when I started the session with her first day, she said, I will not be happy until my body looks like Jennifer Lopez. Literally said that. And I said, you will never look like Jennifer Lopez. And, you, and Jennifer Lopez works out 20 years, tw been working out for 20 years every single day. You're just starting now. You're trying to have that expectation up there. It's not going to happen. It might take you 10 years. She goes, all right, whatever it takes, 10 years. I said, well, okay, it's going to take you 10 years. Does that mean between now and 10 years later, you're not going to be happy until you get there? Well, guess what? When you get there, you will not be happy. I guarantee you that. You know why? Because in that process, you condition. I used to hate the journey. Like for me, when I do, you all know it's, it's my passion. And that passion I worked hard. I'm talking about when I was getting paid $8 an hour, taking the garbage out, filling up the, the cooler with the, with, the, with the soda, the pop, and selling behind the register at age 18 all the way till almost mid-20s. I hated every single part of it. And so for me to turn my passion to a career it was, it was painful. Finally, it has been the career that I always dreamed about and I enjoy every second of it, but there was a lot of pain before that until it happened. But guess what happened? The pain was the result of me not enjoying the journey and only paying attention on the destination. And I used to tell myself, literally, I say, if I'm going somewhere on a, on a, on a, on a, on a plane, I don't like the flight. I want the destination. And for me to wait for that arrival to that destination, I criticize every single day. Until thankfully my one last year working at the liquor store and other uh, jobs are all related. Grocery store, liquor store, taking the garbage out, getting paid less than what i worth. And I'm a competitor, a champion. I hated that because it was, it, was, it was less than who I am. It was painful, but until I realized, I said, you know what? Screw this. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get my career up and running. But between now and until then, I'm going to have fun every single day, every single moment. I'm going to enjoy it. Customers walk in. Hey, what's going on? Let me get a pint of vodka. Sure, you got it. How is your day going? Everything is good. We work by the uh, U of M, uh, the college here in Michigan, huge. Uh, university here in Michigan, huge. So we had stars coming in, like literally like Michael Phelps. I've personally sold... A lot of items for Michael Phelps, the swimmer. Uh, we had a lot of football players would come in. What's going on? How is training going? How is everything? How much do you bench? This and that. I turned it to a friendly uh, day at work. Fun, hangout, and chill. And suddenly, picked up my clients. I become, became a personal trainer in 2011. And since then, my life was never the same. It changed. However, before that, I learned how to have fun in the journey. 
So between now until you achieve whatever you want to achieve, goals could be the concept is the same. Whether is the financial goal, the physical goal, maybe the emotional goal, maybe the relationship goal, maybe the life goal, maybe the friendship goal, whatever it is, is who you become in that journey. In that journey, you transform because of what you believe and what how you behave and what you what what you tell yourself and how do you communicate and what do you do. In that journey, you transform. So when you get to the destination, this is the destination, this is where you start. In that process, based on what you're doing to get there, you are transforming yourself. And when you get here, you're either going to be victorious or you're still going to be, I don't want to use the word a loser, but I want to say you're still going to be the result of consequences of what you hated in that journey all the way up to here. So don't let the journey condition you between now until you get to where you want to go. Where you want to go, it can start right now. I'm not going to wait to get here and then I'll be great. No, I'm going to be great right now while I'm pursuing my way to victory. Whatever that is, physical, mental, emotional, financial, relationship, whatever that is, I will, not, I will never wait. That was a big mistake I made. So I want to share that with you as well. So from within. Okay, let me reverse a little bit, go back. Material or physical things? Yes, so people, the most common mistake people make when it comes to happiness, they rely on an external factor. They wait, do not wait, start now, start today. 